I always hate doing my lipstick because I don't want to mess up my mustache. So, right now you haven't found out if you've won Homecoming Queen. Kind of, how does it all feel? Um, it's really exciting, but I'm also really nervous because, you know, everybody is so amazing who's on the court and they all brought something really unique to the talent night, so I'm kind of don't know who's going to win and it would mean so much to me to win, so I'm really nervous and excited to find out the results. Um, well, I was a high school dropout, so um, I never had my freshman year of high school and when I did go back to school, it was through a dual credit program, so it wasn't a traditional experience. Um, and I felt so far removed from my peers and from my generation and everything that was going on. I feel like I missed out on so many, you know, traditions and so many rites of pas passage that I, that I think are necessary for growth as a person and even just to have fun. And so now, just to be a part of a tradition that I felt so far removed from in the past is amazing enough on its own. How about uh, peers growing up? My peers are almost always the worst. They, you know, kids, they don't like anything that's different at all. And I was always terribly bullied in school. Even before I, you know, I learned the word gay from kids who would make fun of me for being gay. So there was a long while where I tried so hard to hide who I am and to be what other people expected, but that only made people make fun of me more because they knew that wasn't really me. And so I sort of learned that you really can't win and that's why I just, you know, today I'm like, screw it, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't, so I'm just gonna do what I want and, you know, and, you know, be happy and not let other people's perceptions of me affect how I feel about myself. How will you feel if you don't win? Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'll be a little disappointed that comes with the territory. Um, but at the same time, I feel like I've accomplished my goal. One of the main reasons I did this was to raise awareness of LGBT issues and trans students on campus. And I feel like just by running, I did that. Okay, where do I go? I gotta go to the state. Yeah. Okay, so how does it feel now to be crowned homecoming queen? It feels amazing. I honestly cannot believe it. When they called my name, it's just so many memories came rushing back and how, you know, I never thought I would find a community anywhere. I never thought I would be accepted within the larger community. And then I was standing on that stage and I was being crowned and people were cheering and I mean, this is going to sound completely cheesy, but it honestly felt like all my dreams were coming true. What, I mean, does this, how, do, how does this make you feel about your identity, kind of, you know, the past that you've gone through? It's so validating. Like, like I've said before, sometimes I don't feel pretty enough or things like that. And to know, even if it was just my friends who voted that made the difference, just to know that some people out there believe in me and think I'm a good leader and I'm beautiful and, you know, I don't need to change the way I am, that means so much to me. 